Want to learn about AI? Here are five articles that can help you. Check it out. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm a senior data scientist at Career Foundry, and I've been working in the field of data for over five years. During that time, I regularly need to keep up to date with the latest developments in the field of AI and data, and so I'm always on the lookout for great resources that help me to do that. One of the places I find myself coming back to over and over again is the Career Foundry blog. As a senior data scientist at Career Foundry, I'm particularly interested in AI, so I'm going to try and focus on AI-related content in the blog. And don't worry, there's a lot of content to cover. I'll be including links to all the articles we covered today in the description to the video below. But now let's dive into the first one. The first article I'd like to cover is the impact of artificial intelligence. Is AI gonna take away our jobs? I love this article because I'm super interested in AI and I think anyone else who's worried about whether AI is coming for their jobs should also be interested in it. So let's check it out. The main content is discussing the future of AI, um, which roles are particularly at risk and which roles are more likely to be safe how you can future-proof your career, so what tips and tricks can you undertake in order to make sure that you're not at risk from being automated away by a robot. And then it closes by giving some recommendations about courses that might help you learn the skills that you might need in order to future-proof your career. So great overall article. And I think the takeaway is we should be all right for now. So the next article I'd like to cover is the impact of AI in UX design, the complete guide. This is a great article if you're interested in UX design. And obviously, I love the intersection between AI and UX design, which is why I like it. It starts with a list of some of the cool new tools that use AI in UX design. So check that out if you're interested in tools you can use to leverage your skills. It then goes on with a really interesting midsection on all the areas in which AI cannot do UX design, which should be a reassurance for people who are worried about AI taking over their UX design jobs. And then it closes with a section on how you can use those tools previously mentioned to help you make better content, and then what the future of AI in UX design is likely to be. The next article is about what is machine learning, a complete guide. As a data scientist, I love the topic of machine learning, and I think anyone who's interested in AI should also be interested in machine learning. What's the difference between the two? Well, this article helps you to understand it a bit better, but there are other blog articles which specifically answer the difference between AI, deep learning, and machine learning. So be sure to check those out. This article provides an overview of the principal tools and use cases for machine learning, as well as what are the main steps involved in running a machine learning pipeline. It then goes on to explain what is the role of a machine learning engineer, what sort of stuff do they do on a day-to-day -day basis, before closing with some frequently asked questions, which anyone who's new to the field will definitely find insightful. Right, next up, I've got two articles on the very hot topic of prompt engineering. The first one looks at prompts for coding, and the second one looks at prompts for UX. Anyone who's interested in the field of coding, whether you're a web developer, data scientist, data analyst, or something else, you're gonna enjoy this article. It focuses on how to use ChatGPT prompts to get the most out of the ChatGPT algorithm. And it looks at a bunch of different areas from getting ChatGPT to review your code, getting it to suggest different frameworks that you can try, and getting it to document your code, before closing with some of the concerns that you need to have in mind if using the tool. The UX article also focuses on ChatGPT prompt engineering, but it's much lower level looking at specific prompt examples through the UX design lifecycle. So if you're into UX, definitely check this article out. And I like this article because it goes step by step through a classic UX design workflow and gives you prompt examples that you can use for each step in that workflow. Defining your product, creating a wireframe, carrying out rapid prototyping, or doing competitor research. Everybody's using ChatGPT right now to help them with their work on a day-to-day -day basis, but I don't think enough effort's being put into understanding and designing good prompts. So I think these articles will give you a head start in either one of those fields. So that's it, my favorite five articles from the blog. Be sure to check it out yourself. It's a great resource for a high level overview of the latest and greatest trends in tech right now. We produce new blog articles regularly and we also update existing articles. So be sure to check out the blog for the latest information in AI. We'll include links to all of the articles mentioned in the description below. If you enjoyed reading the articles and you're interested in starting out in tech, be sure to check out one of our free online short courses. We have short courses on a bunch of areas, including data analytics and UX design. You can find the links for those in the description below. We mentioned ChatGPT a lot in this video. Be sure to check out our other ChatGPT video here, which is a great resource for learning about how to use ChatGPT for data analytics, as well as some of the limitations of this amazing new tool. Check out the articles, 
Check out the descriptions, check out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs>